Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, the Explosive One, TNT, D-I-N-O, and my D-H-T, what up, Johnny? Oh, dude, you know, just uh, mm. hanging out in the same spot all the time. Oh, uh, yeah, sheltered in place. <laughs> hey, dude. That's over. I okay. love the way that they called it shelter in, in place, and then people were like, wait a minute, we're, you're quarantining us. <laughs> you're like, no, you're sheltering <laughs> in place. It's like when they uh, they say it's fat-free, just so people think it's healthy. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's fat-free, dude. You know, no calories. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when she says she loves you, and she, <laughs> oh, Jesus. she really just wow. wants to go out for dinner. Knife right <laughs> in the heart, dude. So, uh, thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. Whether you're joining us on our YouTube channel, if you haven't subscribed, it's Crazy Town Media. Or if you're joining us on Spotify, mm. iTunes, show, Shound, SoundCloud, uh, whatever, Grammys Radio, wherever you're listening to us. Thank you so much. This guy's on Twitch, though. Yo, TNT Dynamite, I'm on Twitch every single morning at 9 a.m. Central. I was just on, as a matter of fact, until Joseph was like, hey, we gotta do this podcast. I was like, oh, shoot, we gotta do the podcast, but stop twitching. Uh, <laughs> are you twitching because you're on meth, or were you twitching because you were twitching? <laughs> I was twitching it, dude. Oh. That's TNT DI. N O M I G H T underscore crazy town. Yeah, Come and hang out boy. with your boy. <laughs> Anyways, like what's the, up with you, TNT? I'm starting to I like the it's your boy. <laughs> I, <laughs> I remember, I think on the very first podcast we ever did, I think you said it, and I said you did it, and you were like, no, dude, I would never do that. I still and and, and don't now it's it. like, it's like that thing where you start saying something, like, because it's like ironic. Yeah. <laughs> and then, yeah. like, now it's your thing. Now it's just a thing. Yeah. It's unfortunate. Yeah, dude, it's cool, dude. It, you can be the boy boy. I'm the, <laughs> can be the your boy boy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're the your boy boy. I like that. Oh, uh, why don't you get us started today, dude? You I want us? To, you want me to get yeah, us started? Yeah, I got you. I, I got you starting us. Shucks, man. All right. Um. All right. Well, frick it, Jonas. We're gonna go with. Uh, so Takashi Six Nine is out. Oh, I heard that. He is. Um, this is what's the day today? The twenty fifth, I think. I date this? Yeah, we're, I, a week. I, I we're, feel, we're 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 a week behind. It's Memorial Day today. I feel like I have to date it it's because cool. it's going to come out in like two weeks. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so. No, no. A week for, a week from today, it'll come out. Right. Yeah. So, but it, today is Memorial Day. All right. So it's Memorial Day. Takashi Six Now has been out for quite some time now. Yeah, a couple of weeks at least. Yeah. Had a song. It was a hit. Had over, I think it's over two hundred million. Oh views. yeah, he had a really it it, it crazy. went crazy. It went crazy. It's not that good of a song either. And just as Takashi makes it out, we another member of the Rogues Gallery of Crazy Town, our our group of pseudo celebs oh yeah so we talked about right at the beginning of the yeah. of last season it was uh yeah. we gave some takashi news yes we gave some your boy smollett oh well we don't talk about him anymore <laughs> he's just he's blacklisted <laughs> he's, from the he's done yeah and uh he's let, let me guess dude and becky dude oh beckham's dude and becky is back in the news now as you know she did not take the original plea deal that was offered to the majority of the people who were a part of the whole uh, tuition scandal. Yeah, or what, was, was. what was, did it say what the original deal was? Um, I don't recall exactly, but I think it was like just a couple of weeks. A slap on the wrist it and was, you beat at Burger King yeah, for a month? Yeah, and some freaking community service or whatever. So, Aunt Becky and her husband, Massimo Giannali, wow. I'm sure that's exactly how he pronounced it. Giannali. Giannali. Hi, Mr. Giannali. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they were a part of the scandal where they paid upwards of around $500,000 to get their daughter, Olivia Jade, who was actually a influencer on youtube oh and, go and figure Instagram. a famous person's kid is something famous on the internet go figure you never would have imagined well i mean she's hot too dude that oh. helps and uh their other daughter as well isabella giannani um they wanted them to get into school olivia J made it very clear she didn't want to go but they did it anyway <laughs> sure i think that's like the, the most ironic part to this is mm. she's like i don't even want to go and they're like we're we're for doing fraud and you're getting you in and you're gonna be a rower and you don't even have to row me and, and yep me and your father paid five hundred thousand dollars to get you in jail or get you in, get get you us in, jail, in jail pretty much <laughs> basically so because they decided to actually go to trial um they were looking at 20 years wow, possible dude. and they were basically i mean you're caught red you're dead to rights man yeah like, they're dead to rights <laughs> you're on the list there's receipts there's a paper trail right 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 so they pled guilty oh shucks dude and the, their new plea deal 
has to do with Lori Laughlin doing two months in prison, a $150,000 fine, and 100 hours of community service. Her husband will do five months in jail, $250,000 fine, and 250 hours of community wow, service. Wow, did he do like more diabolical-ish or what? Oh, I can it see. It was probably did. more his money than it was hers. I'm guessing she was just like a, an, a, an accomplice. It was his idea. She just like wrote the check. Maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Something. They had. They knew what the fuck they were doing. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Either way, they pled guilty, but the judge can't even accept their pleas currently until they get pre-sentencing from a Massachusetts court the pre-sentencing court in Massachusetts. And a lot of it has to do with the, the situation. Okay. That you ain't really, there's no, like, there's no uh, quick and quick trials going on right now because. Yeah, yeah, dude, there's, there's some, there's something going on out there. So basically they're resting on their laurels and they're just awaiting their sentencing. Dude, so they're in lockdown and then as soon as they're able to go out out of lockdown, they're going to get put in real mm. lockdown. Are they going to give him time served for quarantine? I don't think so. But you know what? Who knows, You're like, You man. know what, rich man? It's been hard enough on you not able to leave your house due to a due to a situation. You know what? Let's just forget the jail. You can just go pick up litter in the park for a week. <laughs> I'm going to ask you this, Jonas. <laughs> All right? <laughs> I'm ready. If, if you saw somebody, let's say... Mm, all right, let's just go. Let's go full board, Jonas. If you saw somebody commit a murder, oh, Jesus, you see this person commit a murder, Jonas, and then that person walks up to you and hands you one point five million dollars and say you didn't see nothing. Wow, that's a that's a that's a. Uh... I'm gonna let you know right now, Jonas. I'm I'm not, I'm that motherfucker that's gonna speak the truth. All right, if no cops come and ask me, I didn't see shit. <laughs> I'm walking my ass back into the house, <laughs> and I didn't see nothing. <laughs> I might tell you, hey, yo, man, somebody, mm. somebody dead out there. Somebody dead. I don't know what happened. Uh, I heard you know, it. Um, I'm real though. Can you take the money and then call the cops anyway? No, you why? Can't because you didn't see nothing. What loyalty do you have to a murderer? I got loyalty to a hundred. Is it a stranger? A one or is it like your mama? It's some stranger. If my mom did it, I'm not what saying anything. What do I give any an F about some stranger for? I give an F about that money. Yeah, but if they hand you the money, go, don't worry about me, bro. I got you. And then you it's, walk in the house and call the cops. It's, How they it's magical money that disappears if it's you snitch. <laughs> if you snitch, it disappears. If you become a snitch. <laughs> um, I, yeah, I mean, if nobody saw it, I mean, <laughs> there we go. That's what I want to see. I mean, like, I like it. It, when, would, it would take a serious. It would take a serious moment of like, hell yeah, thinking to figure out what uh what to do. I like I like it when Jonas is uh conniving. Yeah, dude. Oh, I I have some real strong internal connives. Uh, no, you're good. You're a good guy. I portray that, dude. You're, I you're, try you're, to make the outside. <laughs> you, you don't want to see what this inside looks like. You're a nice guy, though, Jonas. Yeah, I try to be, dude. I don't. I don't really see you as like the thieving type, the no. killing type, the you know, like ride or die. Right. I feel like if I committed a crime, you'd be like, no. <laughs> I'd be like. God damn it, TNT. <laughs> Why do you gotta put me in this position to think about what you gotta do to be able to <laughs> I try to steal the candy bar, I show you outside like Jonas, I got this candy bar. You're like, you need to take that back in. Oh, no, I just go in and pay my friend took a candy bar. Here's two dollars. <laughs> <laughs> And then you make me Venmo you the difference. Yeah, I'm like, you, Yo, you better, when I give you rent money, I'm putting that $2 in there. <laughs> son of a bitch. So how do you Don't feel, Jonas? <laughs> how do you feel about Lori Laughlin and her husband? Dude, and, I think it's and just the, trash. The they punishment should have just pleaded for the crime. guilty in the first place because it's obvious they knew they were caught. I mean, but how do you feel about them getting punished so severely for their crimes? Oh, I mean, this dude. ain't super severe, but they are they are looking oh. at jail time guaranteed. I'm glad that they. Point. I'm glad that they got jail time. I am. All right. Like, I mean, a couple months for them is a lot. Like, <sighs> for them to have be in like, I mean, they're gonna be in like Club Med prison anyway, dude. It ain't like yeah. they're gonna they're gonna have like a nice comfy bed. They're gonna have their own little room with a TV. They're gonna watch like soap operas for like two months. Yeah. They ain't going to federal. They ain't been put with the murderers and the rapists and all that, dude. They, yeah. They ain't doing. They that. ain't gonna be in like this D block. No. No, they're gonna. That be would be in, great, though, be in, right? Like, the gold block, Jonas. I'm not gonna lie. It warms my black heart, Jonas, to see <laughs> these two rich motherfuckers get their due. Oh yeah, it dude. warms my 
freaking African American soul <laughs> to see these rich motherfuckers get their just. I do. don't blame you at all, dude. Oh my god, white collar crime and getting punished for that is the most beautiful. Oh, I need a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I always do enjoy when like a, a corporate executive gets busted for something, dude. Yeah, like, dude. Like uh, Scarelli. Like, I don't have anything mm. against Martha Stewart, but when she got caught inside her trading and they put her <laughs> ass in jail, I was like. <laughs> Dude, I beat off to the headlines. <laughs> wow. I, I did. Here, I talk dirty to me. Martha Stewart's in jail. <laughs> She's doing how many years? Oh, oh. Lori Laughlin's going to prison. Oh, my God. I'm erect. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. All right. After we got off. <laughs> TNT's fetish. White collar criminals going to jail. A roller coaster ride of emotion. <laughs> so, TNT, you know, there's not really uh, sports going on anywhere. Hallelujah. Dude, don't hate on sports. <laughs> My lifeblood, man. I don't play sports ball. I know, dude. I like watching sports ball, but so the in South Korea, they they their situation is not nearly as bad as our situation. They mm. they have uh they have some sports going on. So like you can mm. watch like Korean baseball mm -hmm. and I think Korean soccer is going on right now. So obviously, even though they have it going on, they still don't have any fans in the stadium. Which, oh my god, I know the story. Yeah, go, yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, they don't have any fans in the stadium. Yeah, they so they don't. thought, you know, you know, we'll we'll do something to so it gives the illusion that we have some fans. So they're like, <laughs> you know what we can do is we can get some mannequins. We can put some mannequins in the stands, give them some signs. Exactly. You know, it'll give the illusion of like it'll get, of their people out there cheering on the friends. Restaurants are doing the same thing. Yeah, they're putting mannequins in their restaurant? Absolutely. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, you didn't know about it? So restaurants have been doing the same thing because they're like, we don't necessarily want to put caution tape up and saying you can't sit here. So in the tables where they can't have people so that it's in line with the social distancing regulations, they're putting like blow up dolls or mannequins or just something to give the essence of Illusion having a full. Illusion of it's not just like, yeah, yeah they don't want to put like a fucking red light flashing yeah. like quarantine zone don't get in this <laughs> you know, yeah. like, and if anything it's a spectacle that dude, might you know, drive up business um i was gonna tell you this too uh you know like how i was talking we we talked about wrestlemania like we had an empty crowd or whatever yeah there's another wrestling league uh they're called AEW. they're newer and they do the same thing but they had an event the other night and what they did and it made a million miles of different they had like um some of like the backstage wrestlers and people they sat Along the railing, so the fr the front row had people, but it was all people in their company. Mm -hmm. And so, like when the guys were fighting, you could still see like people's hands and people were they were interacting with the wrestlers. And it made because like if you think about it, when you're wa if you're watching a wrestling event, you only see them interacting with like the very front row of people. So it gave that essence of there being a crowd, even though there wasn't a crowd, because you they would like some like lady who knows who the hell she was was like screaming at the dude and yelling at him. Like it was, I was like, <laughs> still, look, still, I was like that's kind of in innovative, you know? Still violating social distancing regulations. <laughs> right. Though. Well, at that point, they're all germ regulated or whatever yeah um, florida lifted all the regulations dude they're doing it in florida hopefully back to uh anyways Thailand. So, so they you know they went around and, and they you know these mannequins were fully dressed they had them in clothing yeah and they noticed after a while that some of the signs that the mannequins were holding up were advertisements for a sex doll company hell yeah jonas so as they got to look a little closer <laughs> they realized that they filled the entire arena with sex dolls. Okay, now see, this is okay. <laughs> Here's my thing. Like I, I've heard the story. Um, how the hell? I mean, did they? Did the sex? Did the company donate the sex dolls? I, it, I, truth, not facts, dude. Okay, <laughs> fine. We don't know if the company donated them. I'm assuming that if they were they advertising, would have had to have. like if they, they yeah. bought that, those things aren't cheap. It's it was like those full That's what size, I'm like reg, they couldn't have like spent. All that money. Like, like, I couldn't picture, like, the the owner of the team or whatever saying, all right, I'm going to give you a budget to get some mannequins in the stands. Here's a million dollars to get well, 25 right, like, sex dolls. Yeah, he's like, you could go buy a mannequin for, eight for like, 50 bucks, or you can go buy these top-of-the-line human-looking sex like dolls said, for hundreds of dollars. You can get dollars. 25 sex dolls for a million dollars. <laughs> right, right. So, I doubt that. But, the comp but for the company, that's great advertisement. Yeah, honestly, it's not bad. And in and like and in those cultures, like those those dolls and stuff are way more like they're way less taboo than they are here, I think, aren't <laughs> that, they? That is truth, not facts. Dude, if if they put <laughs> sex dolls in an American stadium seating, the, the goddamn country would lose their mind. 
In Korea, it probably wasn't even a story. They were just like, oh, dude, this Whoa. sucks. People were like, <laughs> what are they doing? I don't know, dude. I don't know how 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 people react to sex dolls, but I mean, I know people fuck dolls here too. All right, I do. I just know Dude, for a fact it happens. Like the Aunt Beckys of the world seeing like some sex dolls in the in the Raiders stadium. Like, mm, like I could go for an Aunt Becky sex doll. Oh God! What? She's hot, dude. She's like fifty five and still hot. She's smoking. Aunt Becky. Dude. She's gonna be somebody's bitch in prison. <laughs> No, they won't. She's going to be some big black bitch's bitch. I see you right now, Jones. Is gonna be They're not, she's not even going to get near anyone Yo. else, dude. They're going to keep her corona lockdown, dude. She's going to be in her own little I'm gonna bubble. You, I'm going to let you know right now, Jonas. Yeah. If I'm some big black bitch in prison and Aunt <laughs> Becky comes into my cell, <laughs> she's going to be washing my panties. <laughs> is that going to be your story? It's going to be your clout? Yeah. you like... And Becky came in here. She washed my panties. She washed. She's going to be in washing. The, in the toilet. <laughs> I mean, I don't really see a problem with having sex dolls in it. I mean, whatever, dude. It I mean, is kind of crazy. It's not like they had them out there and people were like having sex with them. Or yeah, they were, they were clothed. Yeah, they, I mean, it literally was like, it just looked like a mannequin. I mean, but they were more attractive. They well, were, yeah, because they really try to make those things look like people. Like a real mannequin yeah. seems like, hi, I'm a mannequin. I'm just sitting. Like Exactly. We need realistic yeah, people dude. in the stands, exactly. Jonas. We just Hot about how girls. The NFL, the NFL the... was going to do like digitized fan, like, I, like Mad 97, <laughs> just like people waving their arms <laughs> up and down. Did like, they have Did they have men sex styles? I just want to ask. I think it was both. Yeah, I think, I think the picture that I saw had like men and women. But they weren't like. They weren't like full rows. They were just like sporadically like, yeah, 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 yeah. so it wasn't like they were like couples hanging out and I, I don't know, dude. It was, I think like whoever made, whoever pulled the trigger on that, <laughs> on that collaboration was like, yeah, our sports team. What sport was it? It was some soccer. soccer. Yeah. All right. So our football team and your sex dial company, we can work something out here. Free advertising and you give us some free samples. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, okay, listen, you can put them in the stadium, but you need one delivered to my house. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, it might have, it probably went down like that. So the executive was like, listen, yeah. we can do this if I can do this. <laughs> it was like, sure, we'll have uh, all 200 of those mannequins delivered to your stadium. And he was like, yeah, all 198 of these mannequins came in today, <laughs> boss. <laughs> He got to get his pick of the 200. <laughs> yeah. Take him home. He's like, that one's going to be in my trunk. Uh, you Take know somebody took home at least two of them. Well, what are they going to do with them? At that point, they're used. <laughs> you can't, like, resell a stadium sex doll to somebody. Oh, uh, yeah. They're going to, like, wash it out and refurbish it. Yeah, I guess once you have them, they're kind of. Once they're out of the package, dude, they can't be returned. Wow. They'd yeah, be like, I don't want to use sex doll. Even though. if it just was used to <laughs> stadium. <laughs> Just the fact that somebody else's hands have been on it. Have been on it. I don't want it. Dude. I wonder if they come like vacuum sealed, like in a bed, like like a like a like a science experiment. Like when you get like the animals for for d dissection and science, they're just like vacuum sealed into a bag. Who the hell is laminating sex dolls? <laughs> <laughs> the company that does it, dude. They put that keeps the hair pristine, dude. I mean, they, I get you, dude. I don't. They come with a silica packet in their mouth. <laughs> 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 don't want it to be stale in there. Exactly. I mean, oh God. Dude. Oh, dude. I don't know much about sex dolls, Jonas. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I, I, I've I seen them don't. in the movies. <laughs> like you've seen them in the like, movies. Like in the, those movies where they in the old like 80s movies will have the old blow up sex. It looks nothing like a real sex, a real real person. It's just like a pool floaty that looks like a human with like a mouth. And see, that's the difference. Is that these the sex dolls that were in this uh, in those stands? Those were like the high end ones. Like they're made of silicone and. Like, yeah, yeah and then you like, got the ones that are just like blow up dolls with like the circle mouth and like they're just for like bachelor parties. Right, like, oh, like, it's a funny. They're a gag gift. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then like, somebody who's like really drunk might accidentally fuck <laughs> one. <laughs> really? I'm not. I'm not talking for experience. I just. Right. I know a guy. Okay, dude. So like, th what those things remind me of is like a pool floaty. Can you imagine trying to like slide your thing inside like the material of like a pool floaty? It would like if you hit like a jagged edge and it just like cuts it. What? I don't want to think about my penis being cut. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, words to the wise, lots of Vaseline, Jonas won't even know the difference. Oh God. <laughs> I don't know from experience. I was just—I know a guy. You know a guy who knows a guy who. You know they have blow up sheep like that too. Yeah, I've and they come that. with like garters on them and shit. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> dude. 
I was going to say, all right, this is just something I heard, truth, not facts. But I heard that the reason that people talk about fucking sheep so much is because a sheep's vagina is the closest in the animal kingdom that comes to a, 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 a human And vagina. where did you read this at? Dude, I heard this many, many years ago from yeah. a guy, all right? Like on the internet or in real life? I don't watch that Was he that a shepherd? Stuff. Just he a shepherd. No, I don't know, dude. I don't remember where I got the information. I just remember it being relayed to me. Yes, but you can look it up. I mean, if you want that in your browser history. Yeah, yeah. Just, just search. Feel free. Yeah, just search. Uh, sheep vagina. Trust me, man. Bestiality grosses me out. Oh, just saying it. Just oh god. Yep, that killed my erection. Yeah, dude. Your, your aunt Becky. <laughs> my aunt, aunt Becky. Becky boner is gone. <laughs> my Becky bone. <laughs> So have you heard anything else about any of those other people from the uh, from the college scandal going to jail? Um, one of them did, right? I I'm not really sure. I didn't do a whole lot of research on like all of that shit because most of them took the plea and they did like a week, two weeks, I think at the most. But oh, uh, so their their original thing was like short, so they got way more jail time than they would have got. Yes, but if they had gone to trial, they were definitely looking at twenty years. Well, because like, that, okay, and I I think the issue is though, dude, it's like. It's especially like in this case, they're like, it is black and white that you did this. There's no gray area to prove that you didn't. If you're going to make us waste our resources and our time and everything to go to go to court, we're sending your ass to jail for a long ass time. As long as possible. Right, dude. Like, and I think that's like, and I don't, you know, and I like, I, 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 it sounds wrong for them to be, to take that mentality. But at the same time, it's like, look, if you save us all the time and effort and don't waste everybody's fucking time. You get, a, you get a shorter sentence. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Right, yeah, it's like... So, it was, uh... Yeah, for them, it was like $600,000. Man, and then their kid didn't even get to go to school there. No, oh, no, it's not. It's like uh, 4000 400000 Yeah, but it's almost as much as they paid to get their daughter into the school she didn't want yeah. to go to, so it's not totally worth it. <laughs> <laughs> this cool million on some bullshit. 10 10 would do again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Waste of time. God, dude. God. <clears throat> and Becky, dude, so... All right, man. Well, that is all the time that we have for today's episode. You know, if you if you haven't subscribed yet, you better warm our hearts. You better make our souls scream in joy. Whoa, Jonas. <laughs> what? I don't want them making me scream and enjoy. It's your, it's your soul, not your self. <laughs> <laughs> Please right, make sure fine. you do. Crazy Town Media, Spotify, iTunes, all that shit. And this guy, he's on Twitch. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 9 a.m. Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town. Come and hang out with your boy live, man. Did you? What were you playing today? Uh, Monster Hunter. I play a lot of Monster Hunter, but play uh, Overwatch mostly in the Monster Hunter. Yeah, that's it. All right. Hey, gotta do it. So, that's my but shit. for Jonas, TNT. We'll catch you on the next one. We are. are, are, are.